So, this example we are going to look at set theory. And what we have here is, given the set A, which is constructed as follows, what we have to do is answer these questions here. List the elements of A, the cardinality of A, and the power set of A. So, let's uh, look at it first. So let's answer each uh, step by step. So, list the elements of A. This is very straightforward, uh, but there is... a uh, you could actually sort of uh, slip up on something if you didn't spot it. There are actually three elements here. This part here is an element. Not the individual components. The actual set itself, comprised of A and B, is an element of A. This is also an element. And lastly, this is an element. So, writing them all out, the first element here is A and B. Or that subset there. The next one is this set that just comprises of C. And lastly, D, E, and F. So list the elements of A, the set A. Those are the elements there. Now this follows into the next one. What is the cardinality? The cardinality is the number of sets, or number of elements. How many elements do we have? As I just stated there previously, there are three elements. So the N of A is equal to 3. Okay. Now, lastly, the power set of A. Now, just as a remark, there are going to be... There, the, the cardinality of A is 3. So the cardinality of the power set, which we will write as follows. So it's sort of a very strange looking P uh, of A is the, how we denote the power set. And the cardinality of that power set is denoted n, and that is going to be comprised two to the power of three elements. Just to be clear, this is the cardinality of A. That's where that comes from. So this is a sort of definition about the cardinality about power sets. It is two to the power of the cardinality of the underlying set. So there are going to be eight elements in this status in this uh, power set. Okay. Now I'm going to sort of break it up a bit. This is not strictly necessary but it just makes it easier to explain. There's going to be a, 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 um, an element that is itself uh, of length zero. Elements that of are, are uh, of cardinality one, cardinality two, and cardinality three. So, just to sort of split it up into, uh, into uh, components. So, the elements of this that of cardinality 0, the elements of the power set, is actually just the, power, uh, the empty set itself. So, that's the only element of cardinality 0. Elements of cardinality 1, the uh, three components themselves. So, uh, A, B... C, and lastly, D, E, and F. Okay, so what those are, are subsets of size 1, of uh, cardinality 1. Now what we're going to do is consider subsets of cardinality 2. So this is going to be a bit trickier. So if we're, what we're going to do is consider each pair of elements in A and treat them as a subset. So the first pairing is A and B with C. So that's our first uh, so, uh, subset of cardinality 2. The next one is, I'm going to write it in a different color actually just to be a bit clearer. So the next one is A and B again and this time with D, E, and F. And the last one of cardinality size 2, I'm going to write this in red this time, is C and D, E, and F. So those are the three 
uh, subsets of Cardinality 2 that, uh, that that we would be putting it into the power set. The last one is a subset of Cardinality 3 and essentially all of the elements again. Now I'm going to write this one in green actually just because the page is getting very cluttered. So what we're going to just do is write out uh, a subset of all three elements. So that is the power set of A. Now it's quite a lot of stuff in there, and it looks a quite a, quite a trick to follow it. So I ha if you uh, I have another video on power sets that you can have a look at. Anyway, that ends our uh, example of this for this question.